You are praying and fasting. You will move out of this house. I think she was a devil worshipper. <laughs> 3 a.m. Jesus Christ. Kelele. Jesus. Hey. I beg your time. So when she's she's pulled out, she just stays there. Like, the body just stays there. Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to happen. I'm going to put him on the chair. I'm going to put him on the chair. I'm going to put him Hi, guys, and welcome back to yet another video in this YouTube channel of ours. Only I'm going to say, I'm going to put him if you're not cooking. Yeah, if you're not cooking. <laughs> but anyway, guys, welcome to this YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. You know why? Because every time we put up a new video, you guys will be the first to be notified, notified. all right? Yes. And, and also like, 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 punch, punish the like button, like the Chopper, bottom up. <laughs> like button, bottom. Bottom up. See, I my bottom up. That's a new echo. Yeah, yeah. So, so guys, uh, today we Benya to make our two chini clearly we are not in the kitchen because we want us to talk about something very interesting. Yes. Hapa kwa mtandao wa nashinanga wa kiuliza. Yeah. Rich, kwa nini ya muongea ngi story za nani zwenyu? Exactly. <laughs> and today guys we are here to give you stories. Sasa leo ni chai. Leo ni chai. Leo ni katai kwanza kitambo kabisa like the very first time we ever got the first nani. Mm. Do you remember the, the first nanny that ever came? I remember the first nanny, but kuna moja kona story. Yeah, kuna moja kona story. Kuna moja kona story wa si. Tuanzishie yu story. Tuanzishie moja. Yeah, okay, first moja. of all. Uh, si no, let's start, let's start from the very first one. I can't remember the very first one, surely. The very first one, ali, okay, this is what happened. The very, very, <laughs> very first nanny. Ali kama kaka, I think for, uh, for a week. For a week. Alafo kacha mto ya kiwa chikatuni. <laughs> <laughs> So, like I said, I job. I do job. I do job. I am to go in a stroller. A stroller. I come back a Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we are going by this kumbuki. That's when I want us to jump right to the other one. Right? The other one is the one that came actually immediately after that. The one, one from Mombasa. Yeah. Sasa wase. Wase sasa ni wapigi story. <laughs> Now this this nanny guys it's very important for you to be taking measures mkiandika nanny's job because what happens wakisha come ni kama unakwaga umewapatia rights za kuwa na watoto kunini watoto wako yeah. kuingiana na watoto wako yeah. to a certain level yeah. and also how yao yako inakuwa ni kama somehow ni kama unashia na because most of the time you're not at home yes. so mwenye yako hapo ni nani. so this this nanny hmm. we got alikuwa ametoka Mombasa Already Mushaskia Jina Mombasa. Mm. And uh, she was brought in by my sister. And um, okay, she was a young girl. Kalikwatuka dogo ivi, mm. kalikwatuka pole. Probably an ochi. <laughs> and nisawa, that's a watch. Nisawa, sin you kweli, yeah. si wongo, kitu tuna saga kusema. So kalikwatuka pole, unonaka kadem ni kama kana story. Ba, po, ah, ni kama kako tu sawa. Yeah. Kalikwa kana pika chapo fiti. By the way, nakupuka chapo zake. Yeah, alikuwa, alikuwa po sana. Aki kosa majarini ya kupika chapo. Maze alikuwa na complain. Yani unaona huu mtemu ni mhado wakin. And funny enough, you yeah. remember, hiyo time, tulikuwa tusha anza hata kufikiria. Because tulikuwa na chikini mdogo sana. Oh, yeah. So we were like going back and forth and thinking and talking like siwa wili. Mm. Ude mju ni mle sana, tuneza msaidi aje kwa life. Tumpeleke chule. Tumpeleke chuo, maybe yes. akuwa na hiyo opportunity ya kuenda, kuenda chuo na yes. kuhu. Alikuwa alikuwa miang akimsikuje kutushika. I, I, I think alikuwa 17 she or must something. Have been around there. Eh, 17 18. Eh, so as we were worried because hajafika 18, what can we do for her? Yeah. Dio at least isikuwe tu ati amekama ame, ame anafanya tu. Kwa yes. So mm. we asked her nini anaweza do. Mm. Akatuambia was it tailoring? Yeah. We, and now we were in the process of looking for a school. Yes. Yenye iko karibu yes, true. akimaliza job ya hao anaenda mm. anasoma alafu ana ana be home haya so in fact hata si tailoring peke yake mm. unakumbuka kwa mmoja high school like nika alikuwa amekosa yeah, pia so you were also planning happen. like mm. tunazaje mpeleka hadi hata kaka kenda zile 2 hours crash program yes. apate sati ya form 4 yes. so at least anafanya tailoring bado kona sati ya form 4 yeah. so at least hata 
akiacha job mm. atakuwa well off yeah. atakuwa tu okay atakuwa mahali in life yeah. so yeah. we had good thoughts for this young lady hey tukafanya tu job na yeye tukafanya job na yeye so there's this time Kemo was actually you were praying and fasting prakatata <laughs> you will move out of this house kabuka <laughs> zetaya na masho shikaraba na pencil shanta bubu bubu wanasema gadi but i wasn't even praying anyway. like that anyway. yeah. <laughs> yeah but that time uh, of course kemo alikuwa kwa prayers and all that so siku moja uh, this lady uh, called my sister mm. from uh, akiwa mombasa uh, akamwambia kitu yenye alimwambia then my sister calls alaniambia wao msichana amenipigia simu it was like uh, two weeks or three, three weeks later yeah no two oh, weeks two weeks yes wao msichana amenipigia na zile vitu zenye ananiambia ai ni kweli ni kweli kamuliza vitu gani mm. kwanza anateta anasema mm. ati ulimwambia akulange chakula baridi ya fridge Hey! What kind of world is this? Why would I tell you to eat Who chakula? Give you chakula baridi yeah. ya fridge. Who anyway? gives you chakula yeah, baridi anyway? Ah, chakula baridi ya fridge. Ah, what do you mean? Eh, hata anasema ile chakula ya, ya kama wiki iliyopita, chakula ya kama wiki hivi ndio unamwambia akule. <laughs> chakula yenye umebakisha jana ndio unakula the following day yeah. and that is what happens even yes. now in our house yes. right so me i didn't see a problem nikamwambia i that is a that is a lie a total lie mm. that is a liar sasa nimetoka job i'm furious ninakaangalia na shindwa nini mbaya na akakadem basi sistangu akaniambia fast to mm. see mwa, to simulize anything mm. then i think another time akapiga simu kwao sasa mm. akapiga simu kwao akasema tuna muover work yeah. na na tu, tunamwamsha 3 am yeah. jesus christ tukimpigia kelele jesu hey abega <laughs> tae tukimpigia kelele uh, tunamuova work uh, no akaanza sasa kusema venye sasa sisi sisi ni watu wabaya yani unaona venye unasikia ngati una unaambu washe mpaka roof <laughs> Uwashe uwashe uko nje uwashe 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 eh zote na mate so akaanza ku portray that picture so ndio sister yetu akatukol akatuambia eh hey, udem alipiga simu kwao mm. na akasema um, hivi na hivi na hivi unakumbuka udem tulikuwa tunamwambia a pray a prayshe anakata hmm. ama tuki, in, in fact actually I only told her once na nikata na akakata na akakata yeah. tukamwambia asome bible akakata akakata na akakata tukafikiria labda huu dem ni washai hmm. ni mshai but tena haikuwa ime to hit uh, most of the time tuki pray alikuwa anga kwa bedroom yeah ama hata hakuwa anataka kukana sisi mali tulikuwa tunakula hmm. alikuwa na try kujificha ficha hivi So another time my sister calls ananiambia mko sure hamuova wako huyu mdem tunamuuliza what do you mean anasema ati ana show siku saa tisa anapigiwa kelele guys now this is what was happening i've mentioned kimos fasting and praying that period yeah and of course uki fast and pray kuna ile time unakuaga umejiwekea yako ya ku pray And came all come here at what time? I think it was around 3 there. Yeah. It was 3. It was not around 3. Yeah. It was 3. So, we came to realize later that who you deem actually alikuwa na disturbiwa na prayers. Ni kama zilikuwa zinampatia nightmares. Zilikuwa zinampia nightmares. Kuna kuna watu wana kuna wana muova wak wana mdisturb because venye sistangu alikuwa na to explainia yeah. alikuwa na to explainia ni kama hata tunachapa huyu dem mm. ile kumchapa mpaka anasema ati anamka amechoka anamka <laughs> jua lilala late ju tunampigia kelele usiku and to be honest guys at 3 am awezi amka wanze ku, ku, kuomba of course na 
Hata ni ngumu sana. Okay, kuna wale wase u ratatata. My neighbors wana skia. Eh. But it, it's unlike me. Yeah, it's okay, unlike you. Hata ni ngumu sana ujui hata ni meamuka. Yes. It's but, unlike but, you. But, but, but unajua spiritually awezi mtu anaomba spiritually always in the spiritual atmosphere vitu ni loud mm. lakini physically vitu ni zimenyamaza eh lakini yes. spiritually vitu mm. ni chaotic ya yeah, so kwake tuli realize spiritually kwake vitu ndio zilikuwa chaotic yeah, i think yeah yes. cuz after i think ameambia hata watu wao watu wao paka they called us wakatuambia they want their child back mm. na tukawaambia Uh, wakatuambia pana mtumeni hivyo hata kama hana fair ati mwamsumbua sana huyo mtoto huyo mtoto mwamsumbua sana kumbe tu kumbe maombi ndizo zinamsumbua mm. someone was telling me of a story whereby they brought in a nanny and this nanny would faint mm. sawa mm. like this this nanny would faint and then akiamka after 3 hours anamka kama amekuserve chai mm. una get mm. very very weird mm. So later on like if you're a spiritual person you'll understand what's, what's happening. What's happening? Alikuwa anaenda into she, she's, she's actually like doing something called astral projection. Uh, yeah. Like she's uh. leaving the body to go to an astral realm, eh? Yes. So when she goes there and does her things or maybe she's just pulled out. Mm. So when she's she's pulled out she just stays there. Like, the body just stays there. Yeah. So nyimna shina mkimchapa. So they call yeah wana mpepeta hakuna kitu na happen. So they call on the parents like eh mko mlitupatia msichana kwa nini shida yake inakuaga. Anakuaga. Akaambiwa anakuaga hii hivyo wachaneni na yeye ataamka. After 3 hours anaamka eh shika chai. Kole bra. Oh just a bit. You have you fainted for three hours. <laughs> and you've just woken up. You've just woken up and, and you've started something <laughs> tea. So <laughs> so that's 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 like yeah. okay it teaches you something you have yeah. to be careful mm. and also like pray before you get an so that you get the right person because yes, you, right you don't know the you don't know the people you're inviting or the spirit you're inviting mm. to your house una just huku ni kwako yes so the spirit you're inviting to your house matters una get yes. yeah 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 so uh, and that's why I, i usually encourage encourage people when you tunasema how you in spirit gani me come unaweza una ni human being ni mtu yeah, yeah. but umeleta ume welcome spirit yeah. kwa hao yako especially if uh, if your kids if you if you have a nanny alafu unaona huyo nani pia anashindili watoto wako wanashindili wanamshindilia sana ama yeah. akienda tu kidogo they just call in that nanny's name all over and everywhere mm. i think it's important for you as a parent wanze kujiuliza yeah wanze kujiuliza maybe she's wali. taking over like you know she's taking over you you as a mom or a dad or a parent mm. you know you never know these things out there sometimes they're crazy mm. we've had experiences i think our third or fourth nanny came mm. and then for weird reason like she left for like two days i don't know where she had gone then i decided let me just check her bag yeah so oh yes oh una, my una god kumbuka. so i decided let me just check her bag Ina oh too, my god do you know i found <laughs> nilipata yes This is like you know I, I don't know whether these are charms or whatever they were. Yes. But alikuwa ameka gani kapo? Alafu alikuwa ameka Na tu vitu amebonda bonda. Yaani zimebonda bonda zimekuwa kwa karatasi fulani so wamezisunda ndani. Yes. So for me obviously kitu lini hit. Una get? Yeah, but yeah. but later to realize the, kuna friends uh, wengine wetu walikuwa mm. na the same experience. Yeah. Actually hao ndio wali walifanya nijue. Oh ile kitu ilikuwa cause she was from Uganda. Yeah, she was from, remember? She, she was from Uganda. Yeah, but and she was really good. Yeah, she was but really she had good. She charms in the bag. <laughs> you still insist they were charms. charms. I mean, wh- what are you doing with garlic? <laughs> and majani imebonda bondo imekuwa kwa pepa ndani ya bag. Sisi garlic inafai kwa kwa kitchen ama <laughs> Kwa food. Yeah, kwa food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so ndio nika realize later. Oh, I'm I it's a thing because kuna mabeste wetu pia walikuwa na the same experience yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah, so it's very important for you guys and we are not saying that mwende mkiangalia anga bag zao but it's important. No, but hey, let me let me pose this as a question. Eh. Do you think it's it's important because this this person is coming to your house. Yes. Remember this person is coming to your house. You don't know what they are bringing to your house. Hii ni nyumba yako bana. Hii ati ni huko nje. Hii ni kwako. Is it do you think do you feel it, and do you think it's important to check their bags when, when they are coming in and when they are, when they are leaving mm. When they are leaving I think it's important because you're insecure maybe wamekuibia Na wakileta vitu kwa nyumba yako Pia okay kuleta yeah I've never thought about it that way but yes Huyu kumbuka alikuwa ameleta nini Hata anaweza leta vitu zi 
Kuna wanaleta ngata bangi. Na ilikuwa imefungwa na paper na love letter by the way. Eh so by the unajua ni kweli? Yeah, Come to think this. of it, ilikuwa na love letter ama wewe chalini alikuwa na shikwa na mavitu. Sijui. Because they used to talk like up until 4 a.m. in the morning. Say, what like are you talking? Across the bedroom I'm hearing you guys are talking but I'm wondering what. You guys are still talking like <laughs> nalala na amka bado mnaongea. Na bado utaamka six once again. Yeah. So me I think it's important to mm. if 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 you if you can search them but if you I uh, feel it's important for you to check their bugs. Mm. Me I feel it's important. But anyway guys you can comment down below. What do you think about checking your nanny's bugs before yeah. they come in and when they go out? Yeah. Mm. And also I think you can give us your nanny's experience. Uh, like what's this crazy thing that has ever happened? Yaani mpaka wewe mwenyewe ukashikwa na butwa. Like ni nini hiyo nani ashai kufanyia? Ama maybe akakuja na kitu kwa nyumba yako ukashindwa ni vudu. Unajua uto tu vudu uto tu vitu unafunga tunafungangwa cuz kuna kuna tu nimesikia wanapata na tu doli tumefungwa hivi mm. kwa their bags and all that yeah, voodoo doll, eh? yeah, voodoo dolls mm. sasa inakuwa gaya kufunga Vo- <laughs> you don't go into that topic it <laughs> can be so wide no but it's important by the yeah, way yeah but people come to it happens mm. basically it happens yes. cuz so you you don't know who the person is coming to your house where their background is and what have you so i think it's impo- it's important nanis kama hao yeah. ukipata na nanis kama me i feel mm. you should you should not let them stay in your house even a day yeah. because huyo huyo wa mombasa yeah. the next day i think pia god alitupatia hiyo revelation ya yeah? i think who them are disturbed na prayers or she's she's yeah, not she's she's not of god what yeah. anisema hivyo and and to say it clearly me venye me usijua i think she was a devil worshipper mimi hivyo ndivyo nili feel but why would you be disturbed na prayers na sia tin sia na shout eh so i don't know i think personally na feel please kick them out of your house okay here's the thing i think uki come ni story which is important if you feel like it's not important like uh, sorry if you feel like you need to kick them out of the house i think you should go ahead and do so mm. because this is your home anyway but before yeah. you do that remember only to look but yeah these are revelations of a friend of mine yes. yeah. mm. this the, uh, you had give them given them authority over your house and mm. over your kids mm. so when you're not there they are parenting your kids mm. and they are also like the ones who are running your home you yes. and this is your home so it's it's important to like sort of like disconnect them mm. in revelation ni pattern like mm. wow that's amazing mm. una disconnect huo mtu mm. kwa watu wako na vitu zako yes hata mwenyewe akisikia umem disconnect eh, like atasikia akieza eh, asikia pia umem ume discon- like i've disconnected you from <laughs> yes, my things yes. and my kids mm. yeah cuz wengine wao wanaizaenda na wanaiza unajua ulikuwa umempatia authority ya kukuwa ka parent yes So akienda anaenda akiwa mzazi wa huo mtu huyo. Mm. So akienda un, unapata alikuwa na authority over your home and over your kids and what have you. So anaizaenda afanye vitu mm. sawa mm. bado atakuwa na authority ya uzazi na huko. Na huko. Mm. Eh. So mtu wako like spiritually ako connected to some other person who is mm. not around. Mm. And that person can say or do mm. things mm. to your child because ulikuwa unapatia authority na ah. Which makes me remember there's a friend of ours alikuwa anatuambia uh, every time akipata nani hata amalizi like a week anaenda yeah. ana amalizi a week anaenda pia ye akapata revelation kumbe hakuwa ame disconnect ule nani wa kwanza yeah kabisa mwenye alikuwa anashinda akisema ati uh, you cannot always do bila mimi yes huyo na, nani si alikuwa anasema ati yes. nikienda kuna hawezi pata de mwingine kama yes, mimi yes. sasa ndio pia yeye later akapata hiyo revelation ya the reason why nani is who come wakienda ni juu spirit ya huyu mwingine bado inakuva these things are serious guys they real <laughs> iki tu ni real mimi nikamkujua hii mimi nikashanga nikastuka sana yeah Alafu later I'm not going to say who this is but obviously maybe she's watching so I'm just going to give her story without revealing the name. Mm. And I'm texting and I'm mwambia we might be physically apart but we are spiritually connected. Oh my god connected. connected. Oh my god. And I'm sure evil. <laughs> yes and it but the true story cuz we saw that. We saw that text. Yes. And we are what? physically apart yeah. but we are spiritually, spiritually connect- together. What does that even mean? Yeah so uh, excuse the story. Akwa ameokoka. Yes. Sawa. 
Yes. So si vile mnaweza sema we are brothers or sisters in yes. Christ. Sa hako ameokoka. Yeah. Now here's the funny story. When this lady is fasting, yes. that nun is also fasting, but she's not even like And she's not even born again. She's not even religious, okay? Maybe she's just spiritual. Yes. Of course, all right? So yeah. and a fast. So, huyo ki fast 3 days. Huyo na piga saba. So can you fast by then I told you okay Si hata mimi naweza fast Hata mimi naweza so nashindoa what do you mean ukisema pia mimi naweza fast which makes me uh, tell you guys and advise you if you're fasting in your houses please just do it quietly and just tell your husband or your wife or even not tell him. yeah or not even tell okay tell your wife tell your wife no te- niambie mimi kwa sababu utaanza kuniambia <laughs> hata kuna vitu zingine hatuwezi do you nina fast hiyo ni unfair sawa so tell your, wife, okay, sour, tell yes. your wife okay sawa tell your wife tell your spouse <laughs> tell your spouse that right. you're fasting yeah but you don't have to go announcing that's the reason why yes. Jesus Christ yeah. like give your fasting don't don't announce don't it announce. yeah for yeah. such reasons yeah. Yeah. yeah if your nanny asks you kwani aukuli ama mbona ukuli just tell them you had eaten somewhere or you're full or something you know yeah. because <laughs> now this is what happens if the dark the dark side they also fast Yeah, they also fast. They also fast. Obviously. Yeah. And I think I'm safe to say even they fast more than us who are the, who are on this other side. Um, or maybe okay, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Chances are. Yeah. Because unasikianga uh unasikianga mimi nina fast 3 days. Alafu haya, huyo ana fast 3 days, huyo ana fast 7 days. What does that tell you? It tells you that she's doing way much more than We you are, spiritually, in, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. They're doing yeah. So, it's important for you to know and to understand mm. you know mm. uh, you need to understand things from a spiritual angle and that's true yeah I spiritualize yeah. everything if you have to because i may feel that is the only way utajua kama uko na the right people uh, or the right person yeah. around you yeah. yeah and i think now like concluding this because eh, we've already like spoken so much uh, it's important to check your nannies but nannies are really good we really love and respect them because they do so much for us mm. They do what you cannot do. Mm. So that's something like you know, we really have to love it like respect that. Mm. So it's not like we are against nannies. Mm. We we respect nannies and uh, we have nothing against them, but all we are saying is that if you have a nanny, it's best that you check them mm. and so that you know the kind of person that you're living with because who seem to at him grow na yeye unamjua ka brother yako ama sister yako. Oni mtu ameka mkwako. Yeah. So with that in mind, like we are just encouraging you and also like giving you an eye opener so that you can know the course of action to take. Yeah. Mm. And also pray for them and please don't uh miss That's a good by the do you pray for your nanny by yeah. the way? Comment down below. Do you pray for your nanny? Yeah. We, we also want to know if you pray for your nanny. Yeah. Yeah. Which is Cuz me by the way when like I'm praying I ev- like if I'm praying I pray for everyone in my house. And especially like Nikki feel kuna kitu na happen usiku like kitu sielewi like kitu mysterious like kitu Because I would have spiritually a lot like people like mistake so, <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> me pray for everyone in the house mm. it doesn't matter if it's a nanny it doesn't matter if it's someone who's visited mm. if you're in my house that at that particular time I'll mention your name mm. and I'll pray for you so me I pray like that yeah yeah, yeah so uh yeah to mga pray also please uh the same way you want your nanny to respect you respect them as well That's true. yeah don't mishandle them uh love them as well don't overwork them i mean they're also human beings i i mean to be honest ukiwachoa kwa hao yako one day i am so sure you cannot do even quarter what they do alafu kwa kwa kuongelesha by me by the kuna say nimepata na ganao wanashautia nani wanawapatia ton yani unashangaa like mbona una una treat one you know one can him less kuna kuna normal kuna normal yenye umejam kuna normal ya kuongelesha mtu juu venye umejaa yeah, but, even... but kuna nyingine miss inaitwa nini yani una mtriti kitu ka abuse ataka. abuse yeah. we, toka hapo wewe nini unafanya hapo hapo haraka ama toka hapo wewe si nimekwambia uto hiyo kitu hapo kwa nini bado iko hapo it's wrong it's very wrong yeah, that's a wrong. human being just respect them yes yeah and should respect them like you would respect any other any other person yes because yes. they're also humans yes. yeah and uh, also they have feelings 
as well. It's important for us to mention that they are also humans. They have feelings as well. The same way when you unaweza fanywa kitu pia wewe feel vibaya pia wa feel the that's same true. way. Yeah. The same way. Yeah, so I mean, I think that's, that's about, about it. it today about nannies and one that nanny that we had who we I'm still convinced she was she was not from she God. Was she was dark. Let's finish. She up was dark. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, uh, up until next time, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you destroy, smash, kill, comment, finish that like button. All yes. right, and comment down below. We want to hear your opinions. We want to hear what you have to say about yes. this. All right. So, yes. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, and also, guys, you are waiting for our house reveal video. In a mock then. In a mock then, because you're not ready for this one. Am right. they're ready? Uh, they're not ready. They're not ready. Yeah. Okay. Up until next time, it's a... Bye-bye <laughs> for, for now. now.